everyone is using Google's new nano banana image generation model, but most people still haven't noticed the hidden talent it has. It can create insanely realistic humans. That means there's no better time to create your first AI influencer. So in this video I will show you an automation I built in NA10 that can create hundreds of realistic photos and even videos of the same influencer. You will also find every prompt and asset I used in the video down in the description. First, let's compare Nano Banana to a few main competitors to really see how unfair this model is. So I'm using Nano Banana inside Google AI Studio and I just said to the model to create me a realistic looking girl which I got over here and okay it's a nice image but what we are looking for the most when creating these AI influencers is the ability to change their poses and outfits without actually changing how they look. So to actually test this out I put in the same image into three models so Nano Banana, Dali 3 and also Mid Journey which are like the three most popular models for image generation and I basically gave them all the same prompt. I just said make her outfit red to all three models. So this is what I got back from Nano Banana and you can see that it's basically the exact same image, just her outfit is now red. But as for the other models like ChatGPT's Dali 3, you will see that her actual facial features got changed quite a bit here. So this is not the same person that we had in the first picture. And in the case of Mid Journey, it's even worse. You can see that the actual image changed quite a bit. But then I wanted to see, can these models actually make our person do some different poses in kinda a bunch of different places? So I said to each model to make her do like a different pose inside a nightclub. So as for the results, this is what I got back from Nano Banana. And you can notice that this is pretty much the same person we have over here. But the other models didn't even come close to this. This is what I got back from ChatGPT and yeah it's a completely different person. You probably guessed that Mid Journey also didn't do much better. Again a completely different person than what we originally had. So you can see that Nano Banana has character consistency like no other model out there which is definitely what you want when creating these AI influencers. But then I also wanted to see how its pricing compares to the other models. So here on the OpenAI's website we can actually find the API pricing of each and every model and we can see that the cheapest image model OpenAI is offering will cost us about 50 cents per 1 million input tokens and it only goes up from there but as for Nano Banana, it will only cost us about 30 cents per 1 million input tokens. For Mid Journey, it currently doesn't even offer an API, but it's priced in these monthly plans, which I found to be much less reliable. Also, I wanted to test the average speed for each of these models. So here I did a quick comparison and as for Nano Banana, I found the average speed to be around 9 seconds. The slowest model I tested was definitely the OpenAI's DALI 3 model with the average generation time of around 30 seconds. And as for Mid Journey, in my testing, it took around 20 seconds to generate each image. Okay, now that you see how crazy this model really is, let me show you the actual automation in NA10. So here we have the automation and as you can see it consists of three parts. First over here is where we actually create our photos using Nano Banana and then we can either make a description for our photo or we can actually take a photo and generate an entire AI influencer video. I'll just start it right now to kind of show you how it works. So here you'll see the submission form pop up where we'll need to put in things like the main subject, the outfit, the actual environment which will all help our nano banana agent create the exact photo we want. So I'm just going to fill this out. The main subject is going to be a Russian model. The environment a sunny beach. For the outfit I'll just say a bikini and so on. 
it will also ask us for an image and I just took this image of this woman from a website called open art and over here you'll find a bunch of different these AI influencer templates so I just submitted this form and we can see that this is generating our image right now okay it just finished and you can see that we are sending off the image to a Google sheet so inside Google Sheets this is how it will look like we will see a image URL pop up over here and if I actually click on this you will see this AI generated image that it created. Okay, but now we're actually going to take this image and generate an entire AI video from it. So back in NA10, we're just going to connect this node to our create video workflow. And now let's test this out. So it finished, so I will go to my Google Sheet and click on videos. And over here, I will get this link that I can just click. And here is our actual AI video. You could of course make some adjustments to make this look a bit better, but already I would think that this is working exceptionally well now let's just make an actual description for our post so I'm just going to connect this node over here and test this out okay this is done so in my Google sheet I will click on descriptions and over here you'll see we have a description saying come bury me in the sand which is definitely very flirty and seductive what we want okay now that you see how crazy this automation really is let me actually walk you through how to build it step by step okay so this workflow starts off with this on form submission node and basically you just need to give it a title and input the fields you want to be set so all these fields like environment outfit composition will help later the nano banana model generate the actual image and for the mall set the element type to be text except for this field which you're going to set the element type to file and basically name it image because we want to only have one influencer and then basically change only its outfit and environment but the main focus is this one influencer okay so you can see right now we executed this node and we got this binary file data over here but we wouldn't be able to send this off to nano banana like this because to send it off we will actually need an url which is basically what we are getting with this node we also need to make the url publicly available online and this is why i'm using a service called cloudinary.com i go over more in detail how to set up your whole cloudinary account in my previous video but the main thing you need to go to settings and click on api keys and generate yourself a new api key then go to upload and click on add a new upload preset so i'm just going to name this video demo select unsigned and click on save after that you will need to go to image and click on the cloudinary docs select upload api over here you will see this upload api that you will simply copy and bring back to your na10 workflow and this is the url also change this to a post request then you'll just need to send off some body parameters select the body content type as form data so the first parameter you are sending off is your upload preset as well as the upload preset name which back in cloudinary is this video demo value so you would just copy this and bring it back and paste it in here and to actually turn this binary file into a url you will select the parameter type as na10 binary file and you can keep the name as file but for the input field data name you just need to make sure that it's called the same as your binary data so if this is called image this also needs to be called image for the next node we are simply going to turn this image url back to binary data so for your http request just set the method to get and for the url drag and drop the image url why we need this back in binary is because our next node is actually a google gemini image analysis node and we have set the input type to binary file this node will basically take this image and do a deep analysis on what's inside it. so in the prompt I said it should analyze the image environment the atmosphere lighting basically take all of that and give me a detailed image analysis and why we are doing all this will all make sense when you see our next node which is an open AI message a model node and this is where we actually write our prompt for the image generation so in the user prompt we give it all of our information from our on-form submission so the outfit is 
is a red bikini, the environment a sunny beach and so on. But in the actual system prompt, we are providing it with our previous image analysis, which you can see over here. And exactly because of this, it will know which elements to change up in our image. So what I mean by that right now, our image is this woman elegantly dressed in this black dress. But to actually make our image prompter model know exactly how that image looks like, we need to give it this image analysis that we did over here. Okay, so now we can finally send it off to Nano Banana. And for this HTTP request, I'm using a service called Open Router. Basically, this is a all in one service for like 500 different AI models. And it also has Nano Banana, also called Gemini 2.5 Flash Image. And to set this node up, it's actually very easy. You would just go to Open Router and click on these three lines over here click on keys and select create API key, which you would then use to set up your authentication. For the actual URL endpoint, back in Open Router, you would click on docs, scroll down to API reference and click on chat completion. Here you will see the exact URL, which you can simply copy back in NA10 and switch the method to post. As for the body request we are sending, the request is being sent to Gemini 2.5 flash image. For the prompt, we are sending off both the actual image prompt over here as well as our image analysis from our Google Gemini node. For the image URL just go back to your HTTP request node and drag and drop the image URL. You can also find this JSON body as well as all the other prompts in the description. After it finishes generating the image we will get the URL inside this huge chunk of text which is basically a base64 string and to convert this into an actual URL we will simply copy the Cloudinary image upload node and paste it into here. Just for the value, drag and drop this URL into here. This will basically get the image uploaded to Cloudinary and turn it into a downloadable URL, which you can see here. Then the only thing left to add was this Google Sheets node for which I basically created this Google Sheet called AI influencer videos, basically containing it all influencer photos, videos, and the descriptions. For the list, I just chose photos and in the photos, I drag and drop this image URL. So now let me actually show you how I created this AI video. First, it starts off with another OpenAI message a model node in which I basically gave him the image prompt that I generated a few nodes back and told him to convert it to a prompt specific specifically optimized for image to video generation. This basically takes this image prompt and turns it into a video prompt. So you could send this off right now to the video generation model, but to kind of perfect it even more, I added this analyze image node and inside the text input gave him our actual video prompt over here and basically said you are an expert AI animation director. You will receive two inputs, a image source and a user's initial creative prompt for animating that image. Then I just said to harmonize them both and create a cinematic prompt for an image to video generation model. For the URL, I just went back to my latest upload image node and drag and drop the image URL. This essentially creates a much more beautiful prompt with things like atmospheric effects and I just found it to work way way better when sending it off to the video creation model. For the video gen node, I used a service called file.ai which is also a all-in-one service for these image and video generation models and to generate the actual video I used the Kling Video V2 model because I found it to be the cheapest and the most profitable overall. To connect this with NA10 you just click on API select the HTTP curl command scroll down and over here you will see this curl request which you can just copy and inside NA10 click on import curl and paste it into here which will set up the entire node for you except for the actual API authorization which is also very easy to configure back in file AI you just click on API keys and add a new secret key so back in NA10 you would click on authorization and set up your API key just keep in mind that when you're setting that up you will need to type in your authorization exactly like this so key 
space and then paste your API key. As for my body request, I just went to file AI, clicked on API, select HTTP request curl and clicked on schema input where you will find this JSON body request which you can simply just copy and bring back to NA10 and I pasted it over here. For the video prompt, I just drag and dropped my prompt in here. And for the image URL, again, I went back to upload image and drag and drop the image URL. After you successfully submit that request, this will take about a few minutes to execute. So it's best if you add a wait node of about three minutes, I would say is enough for a five second video to get generated. And after this finished, we just need to turn this response URL into an actual video URL, which I did by copying this HTTP request node and pasting it over here. I just switch the method to get and drag and drop the response URL inside. In the output, you can see that we actually got the video URL. So then of course, the last thing I needed to do is upload this URL to my Google Sheet. So I selected my videos list and drag and dropped the URL inside. But this automation also creates seductive post descriptions and that is what is happening over here. So to execute this, I just need to connect this image prompt node with my actual description generating node so that inside the actual user prompt, I can give it information about how my image actually looks like. I also added a system prompt in which I said basically to analyze the actual image content and said that the goal is to entice men with our provocative content. So after this finishes running, I just need to connect it again to another Google Sheets node for which I just chose the list descriptions and drag and drop the actual description over here, which then gets shown inside my Google Sheet. No joke, with this exact workflow, you could literally make an automated Instagram AI influencer. And if you just test and refine it a bit, it's very likely that you'll go viral because this industry is exploding right now. To learn building more useful automations just like this one, subscribe to this channel to never miss a new tutorial. Have an amazing rest of the day and see you in the next one.